I've just given Bruce Hornsby a star rating of two. Sarah was saying that her and Steve have sex at least four times a week. Do they? Yes. Have you got an iPod? No. boyfriend's kicked her out. What? Tall, blonde, Kenny? He couldn't cope with her lap dancing every night. Right. Poor girl's got nowhere to go. She could stay here. Trust me, you wouldn't want that. But if she's got nowhere else to go. Well, she's a lovely girl, but she's a pain in the arse. When we lived together, she was always having really noisy sex. And she walked around naked all the time. And she's so messy. I was always finding her dirty knickers down the back of the sofa. I'll get it now. Let's just think about this for a minute. What's there to think about? I love you, Kathy. Kelly is your friend. She is staying. Just for a bit. Just till she gets herself sorted. Even if it takes years. Oh, Dan. You really are the nicest man in the whole world. That's it, come on! Come on now! That's it, come on, put you back into it! Come on! Can't you go any faster? Look, they're going much faster than us! But you're making me look bad! That's it! Yeah! <laughs> Not such a big man now, are ya? <laughs> yeah! yeah. Woo. So, is this your first blind date? And row! <laughs> row! Very good. Row! <laughs> row! Excellent. Definitely not. Yeah. There they are. Hey! 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 This is Jeff. Hello, Hello. Jeff. Hello. Uh, Jeff, these are the girls. Oh, it's <laughs> lovely to finally meet you, Jeff. Wendy's always talking about you. Actually, you're very lucky he's even here at all today. I've virtually had to frog march him here. <laughs> oh, you're scared of us, are you, Jeff? <laughs> oh, I wouldn't blame him. <laughs> <laughs> no, he thought we might all be a bit boring, didn't oh, you, Jeff? That's not actually true, is it, Wendy? I just said that I wasn't that keen on meeting your friends if all they were going to talk about was boys or clothes. <laughs> Not your <laughs> well, they'd rather have nice legs than a nice tummy, or how you get to a certain age and you have to start looking after your parents, or how you're thinking of making more of your lunch times, or how you're thinking of having a fringe. <laughs> <laughs> or Primark. Oh, you've got some great stuff in there, and it's so cheap. Or Jude Law, or how annoying your boss is, or how you got tickets to Barcelona for 1p plus tax. Or how you immacked your pant moustache last night, or chocolate, or uh, how gorgeous Audrey Hepburn was, or, uh, or the time traveller's wife, who oh, it's almost as good as the lovely bones, or Paula Radcliffe, or uh, how painful breastfeeding is, or debt, or Ikea, or how dotty peas is the new H&M, or how you don't think you're drinking enough water. Well, I take a bottle to the water cooler with me, but it just makes me wee all the time. Uh, I'm thinking of buying a house, but you're waiting for the market to cool. Oh, we'd love a place with a garden. Or Nicole Kidman, or emotions, or how you can't find any jeans that fit. Or diets, or does anyone want to go to Spanish evening classes with me? Or footballers' wives, it is so ironic. Or George at Asda's, or how courageous that little ferret-looking woman who sailed around the world is, but you wouldn't want to be her. Or, how you use the office post for non-work items, or would anyone do Botox, or uh, how tomatoes are a superfood, or how you shouldn't really, but yes, you will have another glass of white wine because you can probably busk it at work tomorrow. And so what if you've been doing a lot of crying in the loos recently? And anyway, if you buy two glasses, you get the rest of the bottle free, so you might as well. Cheers. <laughs> That's all I said, but um, I'm sure I'm doing you all a vast disservice. Mm. It's a really good idea, 
easier to meet up for lunch. It's nice. Yeah, you should do it more often. Stephen, I've started seeing somebody else. What? Who? Your brother. And I'm pregnant with his child. And we're getting married. And moving to Portugal. Wait a minute. I get it. Very good, very good. Very... Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> Where are they? Where are the cameras? <laughs> oh, brilliant one. <laughs> That's brilliant. You, you really got me there. That's oh, you're so cheeky. <laughs> All right, everyone, the game's up. <laughs> Where are they? Where are the cameras? Come on. <laughs> very good, very good, very good, very good. So, uh, hang on, my pregnant girlfriend is off to Portugal to start a new life with my brother, is she? Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> as if <laughs> that's not even your food as if you care look <laughs> uh, recognize you two actors uh, midsummer murders yep yeah, yep yeah, well done well done well done, <laughs> well done all of you <laughs> all right everyone jokes over come on where are the bloody cameras <laughs> how are you getting for this polly <laughs> oh dear <clears throat> Bloody thing. Hello. Thank you. Oh no, not not you, no. I just dropped my shopping and some bloke's helping me pick it up. God no, no, not at all. No, he's sort of creepy looking. Like he might be missing a gene. <laughs> yeah, yeah, deliverance, yes. <laughs> um, he's got porky little legs and walks like a gay waiter. Listen, let me just sort this and I'll call you back. OK, bye. Actually, my car's only up there. Do you mind? OK. <laughs> Hello. Hello, love, I'm in here. It's very fine, too. Just make yourselves at home. This is... Christ. Sean? Yeah? Look who's here. Yep. It's Ben and Sally. Hello, Ben. Hello, it's die, you bugger. Sean, you have made dinner, haven't you? Huh? Dinner. Uh. Sean? What? You have made dinner, haven't you, Sean? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, no. Sean? Uh. Sean! Look, I'm just about to put my jeans on, go down the shops, get the food, grab those candles you wanted, nip to the offie, then come back cook dinner for your friends. Right. But please, can I just finish this? I've been trying to storm this castle for four and a half hours and I've just got a man on the drawbridge. <laughs> and now he's falling in the moat. New cushions for the bed. Why that couple staring at us? <gasps> That's Karen from work. Oh. I'm just going to pop over and say hello. Yeah, yeah, of course, son. I won't be long. Yeah, yeah, take your time. Take your time. <laughs> Help me. <laughs> Help me, you've got to. Help you with what? That woman over there. Don't look at her, Christ! That woman over there talking to that other couple is holding me captive. Don't let on that you're talking to me, but please, you've got to do something. She's ruining my life. I don't understand. Sharing a pudding. Look, two spoons. 
the shitting hell is that all about? <laughs> she even makes me carry this. Captor and captive. Predator and prey. How sick is that? She's got pet names for my privates. She chooses my clothes for me. She's erased my identity. Last weekend, we spent a whole day just choosing a fucking Hoover. She's reprogrammed the car radio. We listen to Magic FM. Sometimes, when she makes me drive to see friends of hers that I have to pretend to like, I think, maybe if I just crash the car, I can end all this suffering. <laughs> Help me, please. You've got to. What? Call the police. Get them here any way you can. Start a fire. Attack me. Just get... The shit, 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 she's coming back. I didn't say anything. We haven't had this conversation. I've just been sitting here enjoying this wonderful pudding. That's Karen, who mm. works on reception. Mm. She's such a lovely girl. Oh. Dave invited us to her birthday party next month. Mm. She's having one of those murder mystery things. You know where people dress up? It should be fun. Mm. Sounds like a giggle. <laughs> <laughs> the largest collection of paintings by Britain's greatest painter ever assembled. I'm gonna suck you off. Look, Rachel, I've paid £12.50 plus booking fee each to see some Turners. We've got timed entry at 5pm to see some Turners. I've had these tickets to see some Turners for two months, so if you were going to suck me off, you might at least have arranged to do it either before or after we've seen some Turners. <laughs> You've got to be in there in five minutes, so you're not going to suck me off. Not now. Not now. And when will it be? I'll tell you when. Never. Never. Because you never do anything spontaneous. That's just not true. I've even written it on my hand as a reminder. Look, do something spontaneous. That says get broadband. Mm. It's on the other hand. If you want anything else, you just press the buzzer and I'll be straight over. Thanks, but I think we've got everything we need. Do you want anything else, love? Oh, uh, no. Hmm? Oh, actually, yes. I want... ANOTHER FUCKING BABY! <laughs> and I'll have a couple of aspirins, please. <laughs> Flowers that Auntie Joyce did for us. Mm. Uh, that's the cake. Mm. Mm. And uh, uh, that's a few of us um, having a laugh at the reception. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, who's that? Uh, that's my niece, Claire. Wow. She's really beautiful, isn't she? Yeah, stunning. How old is she? She's 16. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, my brother wants her to stay on at school, but uh, she wants to leave, be a model. Wow. Can't she do both? Yeah, she could, but she's set on moving to London. Mm -hmm. Ah! Not a good idea. I'd give it five minutes before some pervs up to his nuts in her. <laughs> but, um... <laughs> if 
she's insistent. Uh, I dare say we could put her up. What do you reckon, love? Excuse me, is it go on, fellas? Hello, is it? Excuse me, is there any of you on that black golf outside? Yeah, that's ours. All right, could you mind just shifting it forward a touch? She's blocking me drive just to get me van out. Yeah, OK, no problem. Sorry about that. That is... It's all right, I'll go. No, go on, let me. No, I'm up. Sit down. Yeah, but I've got the keys. OK. Well, really? Yeah. If you don't mind. No? No, that's fine. <laughs> I'm going to go with you and move our car. Won't be long. OK, hon. I'm trying to keep your knickers on this time! <laughs> she, uh, she had an affair last year. It's fine now. <laughs> so this must be your local, what with you living so close. Hello. Hi, I'd uh, like to get a nice bra for my girlfriend, please. Oh, lovely. Um, do you know your girlfriend's size? Oh, uh... Thirty four B. Hi, love. No, no I'm stuck in traffic. <laughs> uh, well, the police have cordoned the road off. I think there might be... Look, love, I'm not stuck in traffic. I'm in a lock-up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, storage place. Well, the truth is, I sometimes just come down here for a rest. Bit of peace and quiet, really. Yeah, 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 I know it sounds a bit weird, but... But... Look, of course I'm not in a storage place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm stuck in traffic. Oh, I was just pulling a leg, really. Whilst I'm stuck here. In traffic. I'll see you when I see you. Bye. This one is from me. <laughs> Happy birthday. What is it? What is it? What is it? It's a lie detector. <laughs> Great, isn't it? Happy birthday, darling. Mm -hmm. What am I supposed to do with this? Oh, it's just a bit of fun, you know, when we have friends around. It's a bit like truth or dare. Oh, OK. Yeah, we can ask each other silly questions, like, when you were working late on Tuesday night, were you working, or were you actually just screwing your way through IT? <laughs> we hook you up to this little baby, and a few squiggles later, we can have a really good laugh when we find out you haven't. <laughs> That's obviously if you've kept your foo-foo to yourself. <laughs> right. OK, so should we try it out now, see if it works? Yeah, great. 
Okay, wire yourself up and tell me how close your veiny little dirt stick has really been to Julia. I said we go and see her on Sunday. Right, right. You haven't got a problem with that, have you? No, no, it's just... We spend most weekends around your mum's. I thought this Sunday we could do something on our own, you know, just the two of us. Oh, right. Well, what did you have planned? Oh, nothing in particular, just... Never mind. We'll, uh, we'll get him on, I'm sure it'll be fun. Excuse me. Yeah, sorry to uh, interrupt, but I think what he's trying to say is he'd rather shut his dick end in a car door than spend yet another weekend round at your mother's house. <laughs> Forgive me if I'm wrong, but uh, when you two got together, I'm sure he hadn't bargained on giving up every Sunday to list some middle-aged, sag-eyed version of his girlfriend oversharing about her HRT. Yeah, probably imagined a lot more time spent watching T4, Dipping spoons and screwing over the Sunday papers. <laughs> yeah, I've said it. No need to thank me. I'm just glad I could help. <laughs> you look really nice today. Is, is that is that a new top? Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's lovely. It really suits you. Thanks. So you obviously think I dress like your mum's jumble sale the rest of the time. <laughs> you really are a fucking cunt. <laughs> <laughs>